Hi, Dr. Rosa. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Good to see you, Jenna. I haven't <laughs> seen too. you in a while. I know. So I know that I'm a psych major now and you're no longer my advisor, but I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do um, about some liberal learning requirements in, in the next couple of years. I was looking over my four-year planner that we used and I realized that I've already filled a lot of my liberal learning requirements and most of my psychology core requirements. So I've been trying to figure out if I want to try to graduate early or if I should stay here for the four years and try to get the most out of my experience here by doing some research or getting involved, taking an internship or something like that. Uh, maybe even taking a second major. What, what are your opinions? Well, I think it's a great idea for you, as you said, to maximize your experience here and I think we should review your option picking up a second major. Okay. So I know that there's the approved majors and then there's the self-designed majors. Um, how would, if I were to pick up an approved major, how would that affect the liberal learning requirements that I have to fulfill? Well, I'm really glad that you brought this in, uh, already completed and very visual so that we can look at it. So I'm glad to see that you have um, satisfy um, most of your liberal learning requirements if you're in your current one major. Mm -hmm. And as we can see here, um, you are doing the completed option C, breadth distribution, which is a total of nine courses. Mm -hmm. And then as we can see here, within the nine courses, you have um, the nine courses are divided in three uh, groups, arts and humanities, three courses within that, three courses within the social science and history, and three courses within the natural science and quantitative reasoning. Mm -hmm. So you need all three uh, for uh, when you do one major. However, what happens if you decide to do two approved majors? The nine courses total would automatically go down to six courses, so instead of nine, you would take six courses. And that means that instead of three per group, it would be two courses instead. Within those two courses, you would just need to take courses that have two different prefixes. So for example, if you already have an FSP, I see that you, you have an FSP that counted for literary visual performing arts, mm -hmm. which means that you're, if you were to take a literary course like Lit 316 for Global Women Writers, that would satisfy the two uh, requirements that you would need. Okay, so I don't have to take the liter Literary Visual Performing Arts and a World Views and Ways of Knowing course? Correct, because okay. FSP and Lit LIT would be the two different prefixes that you would be required to do. Okay, the great. only exception to that would be the third group where you have natural science and quantitative reasoning. This is the only group where you have to take one natural science with a lab and one quantitative reasoning. Okay, great. So then what if I were to do a self-design major? Oh. How would that fit? How would that change? Okay, so if you were to do a self-design major, obviously it would be a custom name uh, major, so the liberal learning requirements would be dictated by the program that would be approved. Dr. Rick Camber, um, a philosophy professor, is the coordinator um, and the uh, supervisor of the um, liberal learning program. I suggest that you go to the liberal learning website, look for uh, guidelines, there's a brief description of what you need to do for a self-design major, and also his contact information is there. Okay. So if you decide to do a, an interdisciplinary um, a self-design major, um, those are the steps. Just out of curiosity, which uh, which major are you thinking of designing? I'm I'm thinking a little bit about a cognitive science major. That is great. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Right, thank you so much. You again. Thank you. You too. Okay. Joanna, good seeing you again. Hi, Dr. Rosa, how are you? I'm doing well, great. So I'm a SOS major now, but I still need your help. I Can I meet liberal learning requirements with the interdisciplinary concentration in environmental studies instead of the breadth distribution, which is option C? Sure, so an, an approved interdisciplinary uh, concentration falls within um, option A. So as you can see here, you, you can satisfy liberal learning with option A. Environmental studies falls within that category. 
let's go over to the computer and let's look up the requirements in the description for environmental studies. I actually brought the pro program planner from the website. Wow, that's even better. Uh, this is great. So what I suggest you do when you get back to your room is to take this planner and you can just, um, I see that you also brought the four-year planner that we used in the good old days of the open option um, advising session. So what I suggest that you do is to take the planner, tape it over the left-hand side of this four-year planner, and within the center part you would put your sociology major core courses. And then your and I'm glad to see that you have already satisfied, populated, and satisfied some of the requirements for that, um, for that concentration. All right, great. I also have another question. Do I still need to meet the liberal learnings on the right-hand side? Yes, because the, what you have here, the planner, is, it satisfies the domain, what we call domain or breadth distribution of the liberal learning program. You still need to satisfy what we call civic responsibilities. The four uh, courses are community engaged learning, gender, as you can see, global perspective, race, and ethnicity. However, you do not need to take four additional courses to satisfy this because since you are a sociology major, I can tell you that you have already satisfied most of those um, courses, they can be double counted, they can count, you can see that civic responsibilities can double count for um, courses that you've taken in either the interdisciplinary concentration or in your major core courses. And I can tell you that Sociology 101, for example, satisfy race and ethnicity, and if you were to take a course such as Global Women Writers, you can see that it would satisfy global perspective and gender, as well as a liberal learning uh, course in literary, visual, and performing arts. And of course, you would have to also satisfy the second language uh, requirement, and I know that you have taken lots of Russian courses, so there's no problem there with, uh, with that, so you do not need to take an, any additional second language um, foreign language courses to satisfy that. So as you can see, I think you can do it, graduate on time, and have a minor, a major, and a concentration. Great, thank you so much for the help. Sure.